Hi, I'm Nick James. I'm a clinical oncologist at the Royal Marsden Hospital in London and Professor of Prostate and Bladder Cancer Research at the Institute of Cancer Research. I'm here at the Euromigos Euro Live uh, meeting in Nashville and it's a great pleasure to be here. This is my vision for how we're going to be treating prostate cancer, castrate sensitive prostate cancer in 2027, five years from now. So I think we're going to be dividing the disease up into synchronous and metachronous disease and into patients that we can treat with metastasis directed therapy and the rest. So kind of high volume and low volume, but with a twist because I don't think you can really saber bulky lymph nodes, for example. I think if we think about it in these four boxes, the left hand top box, as it were, the metachronous patients that we can deliver metastasis directed therapy, I think we will be giving, giving short term hormone therapy, PET directed SABER, MDT, and intermittent hormone therapy. So I think these patients can be de-escalated. For the other groups, we will be giving some form of androgen deprivation therapy with an AR targeted therapy and uh, intensification with probably PSMA lutetium delivered up front and you'll have to deliver it quickly because we know that the target disappears as you introduce uh, AR directed therapy. We will be testing patients for various biomarkers and I think the one that will have made it to actual clinical practice by 2027 20 will be we'll be doing BRCA testing and we'll be offering them PARP maintenance if they are appropriately HR uh, mutant and I think that's going to be largely BRCA1 and BRCA2 that are going to drive that.